Hey, Kat. It's Rodney. Hi, my name's Mrs. Palson, and I'm going to read this book called What is a Scientist by Barbara Lynn to my class. What is a scientist? What is a scientist? A scientist is a person who asks questions and tries ways to answer them. Hannah wonders about fruits and vegetables. Are there as many peas in every pod? asks Hannah. A scientist learns from her senses. Cammie and Tierra play with a mixture of water and cornstarch. They try to decide if it is liquid or solid. When I squeeze it, it feels like a solid, but it drips like liquid, observes Tierra. A scientist notices details. Nate examines seeds inside vegetables. There are actually two kinds of seeds in the cucumber. The small ones are clear, discovers Nate. A scientist draws what she sees. Samantha shows how two liquids mix. The red drops beat it up inside the yellow liquid, observes Samantha. A scientist writes about what happens. Tim records his observation. The checker and pencil landed at the same time, but not the feather, writes Tim, when they both fell. A scientist makes comparisons by measuring. Amelia and Corey are measuring weights with the bounce scale. Amelia, this side of the bounce is higher because it is lighter, demonstrates Corey. A scientist must count exactly. Emily and Stuart count how many drops of water they can fit on a penny. We've put uh, on 23 drops of water so far, says Emily. A scientist looks at objects carefully to decide how to sort. Zoe and her group have organized the shoes and boots in different ways. You guys, I think this boot is longer, decides Zoe. A scientist designs experiments to test predictions. Jesse plants seeds at the top of one cup and the bottom of another. I think the seeds that I planted at the top will grow better than the ones at the bottom, predicts Jesse. A scientist experiments by trial and error. Nick uses a foam meat tray to make a flying object. I added a blob of clay, some paper clips on the front, and now my meat tray flies farther, explains Nick. A scientist thinks logically. Shivani explains how she learned about the compass directions. When I ride home at the end of the day, the sun is going down over there, so that must be the west, figure Shivani. A scientist keeps trying over and over. Charlie and Stuart try to build a tower as tall as possible. Stuart, we finally got more than 10 to stay on, shouts Charlie. A scientist has fun. Jeff and Teresa experiment with water. Let's see if we can fill up the tubes through these holes, suggests Jeff. A scientist is a person who asks questions, learns from her senses, draws, writes, knows details, measures, counts, sorts, test predictions, experiments, thinks logically, keeps trying, and has fun. That's what a scientist is.